たちは今日会ったばかりだあんた方は俺の敵じゃない He said the fucking line. Oh, yes. I know, cringe, sorry. But I just can't help it, just the fact how, finally, how fulfilling, just how rewarding it was just to see the development up to this point. I bet all the manga readers were just waiting for this moment. You're just like, yes, finally. You just, it, it brings back to the first season where you can see Thorfinn's dad, who's just, Thorfinn, as a kid, was trying to go fight the enemy, right? He went to look at the chest to grab the blade and asks him, who is your enemy? And that's where it brings that moment to think what you just said. And it's such a profound moment for what Thor has said. And just as how Thorfinn responded. When it's nothing personal. When it's just business with the king and Kettle. But what I do really love is just the fact. What this portrays for the author. If you haven't watched the uh, Giga's video of course. The Giga having an interview with Arthur Gunn. And it shows about like the meaning he was trying to portray in his early works of his first manga planet test or something and then to his other this current you know Genla saga he wanted to point out three main things but uh, it's, it's so crazy just overall the season two of how great it is just the fact that it goes from showing the development for like omar from him being a brat to seeing the casualties in his farm knowing when to surrender and how much it's not worth the tragic of war it's also really respectable that snake wouldn't mock him for that either it's pretty commendable just from him being a spoiled brat to Knowing when to surrender. What's amazing is the Thorfinn's development, man. From the first arc with the war arc going, his rage and his ongoing life goal is to get revenge. Losing that uh, meaning for his life ends up to the slave arc, which is, you know, farmland saga. <laughs> but it, especially how different from first season, second season is. Everyone was so excited to see that that one moment with the reunion with old man Kuhn, because then. You know, you get to see, after such a long journey, you get to finally meet him. And when he did finally meet him, he sees that there's such big change in who he is now. Not to mention that uh, there's King Canute, who also, you get to finally see Thorfinn. And after four years, you know, it's such dramatic change and 180 shift in who they are. From Thorfinn's development to Omar's development, and you see the comparison from Omar's brother, uh, just from how his way of life is war, and to live is to die in battle, honor meaning more than his life. Omar uh, realizing that, it, may, it shows a lot of, like, just the different kind of characters that we have. Snake, you know, just his role, or his meaning is to, you know, he serve Kettle. Oh man, and it's so sad, dude. Three weeks ago, when you watched that, when, when you guys all watched that episode, Oh man, I, I'm not gonna lie. When I watch, when I definitely watched that episode, I was hella sad. There, you never have those moments where you just take a shower and you just kind of rethink these moments, these shower thoughts. Man, I was like, what the fuck? Oh man, I was, I was actually pretty. I thought about it way too much than I should have. That just made me kind of sad. You know, you you're processing what just happened. Anyway, it was, end opening is hella fire. Oh, and of course, if you haven't watched uh, Gigguk's video, at least watch the 10 minute version of his main channel or big channel. I mean, I'm not doing enough justice because I'm kind of just sucks at explaining things. But it is cool to see different characters aiming for different things, uh, such as Canute. It was pretty funny when Canute did command the waves to stop, and there was that one moment where I legit thought he was going to stop it. Yeah, but anyways, it, it did show that how little humans are in terms of their limitations. All right, let's be, let's be a little realistic here. I mean, me talking about realistic and we have Thorkel swinging a fucking tree or log. I hope you enjoyed my little rant, I guess, or a little explanation for my care or my love for Vinland Saga. I'm just, just a dude that just likes the series a lot. And if you like the video, like the video. If you do not, I mean, just ignore the video. Uh, follow the socials. I'll put that in the description. Hope you guys look forward to the next week for the next upcoming episode. It's coming to an end for season two. Yeah. Anyways, take care.